Good morning, children. Welcome to today's EVS class. Today's class will move on to the next block. That is block twenty in the sky. So it is a, as usual, it is going to be very interesting to learn about the what are the things in the sky. So to start, today's activity is listening to a story. So there was a boy, like you, a boy and girl both, a Rama and Ram. So they both were, like you only, they will be having their daily daily routine. So morning, as usual, morning, uh, Rama, as soon as she get up in the morning, she open her window and she will see the sky. So when she see the sky, she will observe different things in the sky. She will be seeing some birds flying, and also she will see some clouds, and also she will see that sun will be shining and it will be so bright. Then she will get ready and she goes to school. She will learn. and she'll come back in the evening again she plays for some time so now we'll go to that boy ram so ram in the evening before after everything over he ate the dinner he will open the window and he will see the sky so when he see the sky he will see that the sky will be to be dark uh, but he will be see, able to see something glowing that is the moon will be glowing there and also some stars will be there even there will be some clouds so these two children observed the sky in the night and also in the day even rama when she is observing in the night time she will be able to see same clouds stars and moon even when ram is observing in the day time he will be able to see the clouds sun and also the birds so in the sky that's our topic see in this small story you understood that as even you might have observed in the uh, sky that different things are there in the sky and uh, sometime it is bright and sometime it is dark so when it is bright children when it is bright day time it is in the day it is bright when it is dark the night it is dark why it is bright in the night uh, day time because sun is shining and the night it is dark because sun is not there sun as sun is not there we call it as the night time and it is dark but something will be glowing in the sky those are the stars and also the moon we can see yes no children so shall we start learning about the uh, things what we can observe in the sky so now night sky and day sky see when you make a like this when i start writing what all you see in the day day sky what all you see in the night sky you can easily you can see the picture not only in the board you can also observe the picture in your textbook page number 124 so here you can see you can write sun you can write clouds you can write birds busily going from their nest yes no children and also in the night sky you will be seeing the stars shining and you will see the moon again you will be seeing the clouds so we can write the clouds here no children both the time we can see in the clouds so here we can remove the cloud and the cloud will come here because clouds are observed we can see the clouds even the day day time and in the night time so we will see what are these stars what are what is uh, what about sun so some factors about sun moon see the keywords sun moon stars and clouds is going to be your this class learning so let us see what is sun so before i ask this you all might be you all might have learned or you might have heard several factors about sun moon children just recollect what you have learned so in the uh, sky we are observing in the day and in the night and first we will start with the day sky so that is the we will learn something some factors about the sun sun so what is sun chill sun is nothing but a star it is a very huge ball of fire huge ball of fire so sun gives us what does it gives us it gives us light and also heat sun gives us light and heat it makes our day makes day bright yes about sun it has its own light and because that's why it is star stars means they have their own light the sun is also a star and it it is a star it is like a ball of fire glowing ball of fire so many gases are there to be glowing all the time to be giving out the heat and light sun only makes our day brighter these things you all know already so sun and see children sun in the direction lesson we learned sun will rise and it will set 
actually sun is not moving earth is going around the sun yes students earth is going around the sun that is why it seems to be sun is rising in the east and sets in the west you can see sometimes the color of the sun the sky also becomes like orange is you can see ha uh, yes no children so sun rises in the east and sets in the west this you know about the sun already but actually sun is not moving who is the one moving the earth is the one moving it's a star next we move on to learn about the moon children so what about the moon see moon when will you see the moon in the night we see the moon in the night yes no children and do you know that moon is glowing but has no light it has no light on its own so how it is glowing then it will throw back the it will throw back sun's light it is not having its own light because it is on satellite we will be learning about that when you go to higher classes sun is we can see in the night and it has no light on its own it will throw back the light of the sun and also you have one more important thing is it changes shape yes no children every day when you observe changes shape you can see all the times moon is not the same sometimes it is like this full moon sometimes it is like this half moon sometimes you can see half moon sometimes you can see crescent moon and one day moon is also not there also and uh, that is because moon is going round the earth and earth is going round the sun so now that is a little difficult for you to understand you will be learning about that in your higher classes so you can see the different shapes of moon why because moon is not having the light it will which part is getting light that part only will be able to see which part is getting the sun light that part only we are able to see so the sun changes shape because it has no light and it will just it will be we are able to see which part of the moon is getting the light of the sun why because moon is going around the moon going around the earth and earth is going around the sun so this is all about and moon compared to which is bigger children sun is very big and moon is smaller compared to sun the moon is small yeah children we will continue learning now next we will learn about the stars see you are you might have seen the stars twinkling yes twinkling in the sky so stars twinkle yes they have because they have their own light have own light like the sun only have their own light but all other stars which are very small they are looking no actually they are some of them are very big also they are very far away they are far away from the earth that's why they look as if they are small they are far away from the earth all the stars have their own light they twinkle yes they give out light they will be shining in the night time some of them are even bigger than some are bigger than the sun but they are far bigger than bigger than the sun but why they look very small because they are the distance between us and the earth and the stars are very large so they are very far that is why they look as if they are very small they have their own light they'll be shining but we can't get the light as such we are getting the sun's light why because they are very very far only the shining that small amount of light which are able to get only we are able to uh, see that they are shining in the sky so in the day sky and the night sky the three clouds we learn in the next class children so three things important things we learned about the sun moon and the stars so sun moon stars so sun will be bigger than the moon and some stars are even bigger than the sun so these points you have to remember see in your textbook you can see the beautiful picture of the sun and also the moon and i as i told you moon will change the shape because the part see this part which is it is getting a sunlight that part only we are able to get other part is there only we are unable to see that because moon is not having the own light and it is only just throwing back the light of the sun that is why we are seeing the one part or which part it is able to get and one day we will not be able like this see only stars will be there there will be no moon that day is called as the new moon day that day what happens moon is there but the sun's light is not falling on it that is why we are unable to see the moon new moon day amavasya will say so that day there will be no moon but that is not that means it won't go and uh, fall away anyway. it will be there only only thing it is not getting the sunlight to throw back so this one again when you read this 2 124 and 
five. You will be understanding this further, children. Even you can add up some more also about the uh, factors about the sun. Must be four, two, three points you can learn and you can keep it ready for the. Uh, uh, whenever we are discussing about the lesson for next part of the lesson also it will be useful for you children now let us see what is given in the workbook take open your workbook children workbook page number page number 20 you see please take page number 20 day and night sky write the date as usual s1 look at the pictures and answer the question you can see the pictures First question, what are the things that can be seen in both the skies? Mm -hmm. So what thing we are able to see in both the skies children? Mm -hmm. Aldi we draw, draw and we wrote no both. On arrow mark I kept and I wrote both it should come in the middle. Yes very good. So clouds you can see both in the S1 I am talking about date you have to write. First is write neatly clouds. You can see both in the night sky and the day sky. Second question. How are the two skies different from each other? How are the two skies different from each other? The day sky is bright. The night sky is, is dark. Now why are day and night sky different children? Day sky, sun is there. Night sky, sun is not there. Day sky, sun is shining. Night sky, sun is not shining. So this you can do on, think and do on your own. Why day sky is having, is bright. Why night sky is dark. Even though the small, small stars and the moon is there, that is not as bright as the sun's light because as I told you, other stars are very far. So I hope you can do, have to think and do and then you are unable to get, then only you check this. Yeah, children. See, third answer, why they are different, day sky and night sky. Sun is shining in the day sky, there is no sun in the night sky. This only you can think and uh, write on your own way. Next you take the, yes, two children, the moon, write the day. You have to draw a moon. When do you see the moon, children? Night. What was the shape of the moon? You can write full or half or, or uh, anything you can write. Round. It is the round shape only, you know, when it is full moon. What was the color of the moon? Moon will be in the silver color. Yes, no children? So silver color. What about the sun? color of the sun? It will be yellow. No children, when you, when you draw yellow or orange, you have to keep for the sun. Clouds children? Yeah, white children. Stars also shiny. They will be in the uh, silver color only. So now S2. You draw the moon. When will you see the moon? Night. What is the shape? Round. Generally, full moon means round. And uh, color? Silver color. Silver you can write. Now, there are no clouds last night. But Sudha could, could not see the moon. So sometimes why we are unable to see the moon? So it was a... It was a new moon day. New moon means... That is no moon actually, new moon day, it was a new moon day, it was a new moon day, that's why Sudha was unable to see the moon, that is called as the day, the moon is not getting the light of the sun. How is the sun different in the three pictures, why it is different, the shapes are different, the shapes are different, why this shape change, as I told you, now you can try moon has moon does not have its own light and why how it is shining it throws back sun light so which part is getting that part only we are able to see so that is the meaning for this fourth question imagine you are visiting the moon for some days what you not find there so in the moon one important thing is in the moon there will be no air and no water that is why we can't live in the moon yes scientists they will go for studying and they will come back it is not possible to live as if we are living in the air so you can write there is no air and no water in the moon here I am writing there is no air, there is 
no air and water in the moon that is why it is not we can't able to live in the moon so this part you can um, uh, understand this is only extended learning so these all are new things which you are learning uh, complete reading and uh, complete the s1 and s2 and learn some more facts about sun moon and stars and also about the clouds and be ready for the next class so as usual today's activity was that listen to the story now you will in your evs notebook you will draw sun moon and stars and also in a small uh, you divide the day sky and night sky and what will you observe the day sky what will you observe the night sky you draw and keep color and keep it ready for the next class day bye bye children